Hey everyone, I'm Brian Parks, the CEO of Synapse Software. And in this video, I want to talk digital transformation. Let's start out with the definition. According to Wikipedia, digital transformation is the adoption of digital technology to transform services or businesses through replacing non-digital or manual processes with digital processes or replacing older digital technology with newer digital technology. Well, okay, so that's all about uh, taking old, potentially out of date processes using old tools and using newer tools, preferably digital tools. But that's all about the what of digital transformation. And if you just start with the what of digital transformation, you're really only seeing a partial picture. So in this video, I want to try to get to a definition uh, that focuses more on the why and the how of digital transformation. Now, when you think about why, uh, if you ask your CFO uh, why you should uh, embark on a digital transformation journey, he or she might say something like, uh, we want to cut costs, you know, reduce expenses, that sort of thing, talking about the bottom line. Okay, that's great, but that's that's more of a secondary goal, a secondary why. That That is something that might happen and probably should happen as a result of digital transformation. Uh, there are probably things going on that, that are costing your company money uh, that by going through a digital transformation you're going to reduce those expenses, maybe eliminate those expenses, that sort of thing. Now if you asked your uh, chief operating officer uh, why you should go down a digital transformation uh, road, you might get an answer like we want to uh, eliminate expensive mistakes, right? So yes, there's a cost factor in there, which uh, see previous conversation about what, you know, what your CFO wants out of it, but it's more about uh, you know, people making mistakes. We want to reduce mistakes. Uh, and again, that's maybe a, a secondary offshoot of a digital transformation. That is certainly something that should be a goal through your digital transformation. You definitely don't want to make more mistakes, because that typically does cost money, time, it causes frustration uh, at all levels of an organization, right? So you do want whatever the outcome of your digital transformation to be, uh, to be something that uh, helps people, uh, you know, not make mistakes, do things right the first time, uh, maybe do things right automatically. Uh, that would be cool as well. But for every organization, it's a little bit different. So let's, let's take a step back and really talk about the, the most important why uh, for your digital transformation. And for me, that's enabling your employees to do what they do best, to be more effective at their job. Uh, basically, th this might look like enabling your employees to do what motivates them to come into work on a daily basis, what they really enjoy about the job. Uh, and not not spend as much time doing you know paperwork or you know other you know mind numbing activities that really aren't why they uh, got into the field that they're in in the first place. So that that's kind of the step one is let's take a look at each employee, each employee's role in the company, and look at what it is that they really do. What is the crux of their position? You know, for a salesperson. It's getting out there and building relationships with people, right? For a sales engineer, it's building demos for, uh, for, for the people that, that the sales department is selling to. Uh, for a software engineer, uh, it might be you know, writing code you know, rather than you know, documenting a bunch of stuff. For the documentation team, it's documenting the output of, of the engineering team and uh, of the product team. Right, so each each employee, each department has their specific role, which is surrounded by, a, you know, a bunch of a bunch of other stuff that uh, is bogged down in process and maybe some paperwork, maybe some older, you know, less digital processes, and that's really what 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 the digital transformation is attempting to solve. But we want to start with why, right? And the why is to enable our employees, just as short and simple as that, to enable our employees. Now the how is obviously with digital tools, digital processes, right? In, in 2020, uh, 
a particular requirement is something along the lines of that technology being in cloud or at least a data center that makes it accessible from wherever an employee is working, you know, working from home. Or if, if you're a company that does fully remote work, truly remote work, then potentially from anywhere in the world, right? You might have a VPN, but that still doesn't prevent people from doing their work from anywhere in the world. So that's kind of the how of the digital transformation. And then the what kind of sits in between, and that's you know, using these tools, right? So that's that's kind of the third piece, right? You have the why, then you have the how, you're going to use some digital tools, and then the what is the specific digital tools you're going to use. Uh, so you might use, you know, an ERP system. You might use an ITSM system, an ESM system. Uh, the tools should follow on from all the other things. Now, there are some great tools out there that are extremely flexible, so you can almost make the to the decision about tooling uh, at about the same time as you make the decision about the, the main why, empowering your employees, uh, and those subsequent whys, some of the, some of the other goals, you know, reducing costs, uh, eliminating uh, user error in, in certain processes, that sort of thing. And then figure out how to build the pieces that you need using the tool that you've chosen from a general purpose tool. But at the same time, you might find that uh, certain processes have really good purpose-built tools. Uh, let's, you know, for, for certain uh, scenarios, there might be a very specific process that everybody has to follow, and it makes sense just to get a tool that is purpose-built for that. You know, for accounting, you might do QuickBooks or, you know, something along those lines, because that's a purpose-built tool. Uh, in all likelihood, you're probably already using an accounting tool, uh, but that's the first example I can think of. But that's that's kind of where I start when I think about this sort of thing. I start with the why, uh, and for ev most organizations, that why is going to be the same thing. It's going to be, you want to empower your employees. You want them to be the best versions of themselves that they could possibly be. And that's actually our mission as a company, is to empower employees and companies to, to be the best versions of themselves and to enable everybody to really pursue their passion. So with that in mind, then you can start to make those subsequent decisions. And of course, we can help, shameless plug. Uh, let us know if, if you're interested in undergoing a digital transformation or want to see the, the, the most success from uh, your current digital transformation or kind of do digital transformation phase two, that's fine. Hit us up, let us know, send us an email, uh, visit our website, and drop your contact information in our contact form there. And we'd love to chat with you about what you've got planned for the next couple of years. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a few more videos uh, specifically on uh, kind of why digital transformation, how to digital transformation, uh, that sort of thing over the coming weeks. So. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when those come out. Uh, like this video and check out some of our other videos about some more technical aspects of uh, some of the products that we use. And be sure to share this with your friends, colleagues, uh, inside your company. Uh, we'd really love to see how, how we can influence uh, how, how you think about digital transformation and hopefully see you get to the next level. Thanks for watching and have a great day.